All right, well, uh, our Arnhem game in 54 millimeter scale, I've made half a dozen adjustments adjustments in the last couple days goofing around with this. So our, our bridge has been converted. Our German's gonna come across the bridge and also from the, uh, the backside also of this uh, board. And we only have Piats on the table and a six pounder. I'm going to do a short video of just an attack coming across the bridge uh, just to show you what we're using for rules um, really fast. It's Donald's Featherstones Battle with Model Soldiers. It's almost exactly what he has in the book. And the book, of course, I've used in for many games. And it's two pages I've typed up. And, uh, you know, our maximum range for rifles uh, 48 inches. All right, well, before I start the game, the Piats were made by Josh Warliff. There are no bazookas on the table again. Um, so, here we go. Um, we're going to send down a couple vehicles. I'm going to uh, do the combat and show you how that works. Okay, well, uh, welcome to my basement. And like always, if, if you don't care for my videos, totally understand. Um, we're going to get right into playing with Donald Featherstone's Battle with Model Soldiers. And we're going to start off with our half track, which according to our Donald Featherstone rules, that's going to come flying down the, uh, down the bridge at a movement of 16 plus 3 for 19 inches. I'm going to pause the camera. All right, well, our first half track moved, followed up by the armored car, another half track. And uh, so we've activated three units, and now our British paratroopers are going to activate one to six units. And uh, let's see what they activate. They're going to activate four units. I'm going to pause our camera. Okay, well, we have a Piat right here using the pointer stick, and it has a range of 12 in 18 inches. But that range, the armored uh, half track that's coming down the road, um, the range is 12. So the Piat firing, and it only has one range, 0 to 18. And uh, so we need a 4, 5, or a 6, but these paratroopers are veterans. So a 3 through 6 is a hit. We're using a Peter Dice. And uh, I really like my giant Peter Dice for these... Uh, for these rules for running videos because everyone can see them so that's a hit all right let's pause the camera get the chart out okay well a half track has in Donald Featherstone rules an armor class of six so all weapons are uh, armor piercing weapons you roll 2d6 and you got to get higher than that number if you get equal to it's immobilized and then a Piat gets a plus two. So we're rolling 2d6. And we got a total of nine plus two is 11. And we exceeded the number of six. So that thing is blown up. All right, it's blown up. It's got a crew of three. And we're going to... Uh, an odd and even, one crew member survives, and another survives. So 50-50 chance, so two men will hop out, and we got to also find out which way it's going to go off the bridge. And it's going to go off on the right side. Alright, so that's one of my four activations. Um, my next one is a Bren gun's going to fire out the window at those two Germans. And... Uh, they need three through sixes to hit. A Bren gun um, hits on three through six. They get three dice, little burst, three hits. And then we're gonna determine with little dice, um, one. So the left figure takes two hits and the right figure takes one, but uh, 
We have a saving throw. It's a kill number. So we're going to say they are in open ground, running around on that bridge, five or sixes, and they won't die. And they both rolled a five or a six. I did that behind the camera. Okay, so that's my second activation. My third activation is a couple riflemen, and I just went ahead and rolled those. Those are hits, and uh, I rolled five or sixes for uh, saving throws, and they didn't get killed by those riflemen. I have a submachine gun, which is um, three dice, long range. They need five or, four, five, or sixes, two hits, and left and right, one each. Well, the submachine gunner, which I'll, uh, he's right over there. He just uh, gunned them down. Well, that was a total of four activations. And my Germans, I'm just rolling here. They activate two. I'm going to pause the camera. That armored car is going to activate and come down the road and push that half track out of the way. All right, so my armored column's coming across. I've used all my activations for the Germans to get to that point. And we're gonna move our camera angle and see uh, what the British will do for activation. So there's a head-on view. Um, coming down the bridge, we're gonna get another side view. And then we're gonna roll our British activations and see what they can do here, this column. Well, in video-wise, this is going, I'll be editing this and all, but right now this has taken me over a half an hour or so uh, to get through a few activations, checking charts, rolling dice. So, uh, we are right now at the point where the British are going to roll for their activations. I'm going to stop the camera here. I wanted to give you another view. All right, there's my British activations. I'm gonna get three, uh, three units can get activated. Well, I'm gonna start off with that uh, six pounder. Is gonna line up on that armored car. I need a three through six, and I roll the four. And if you're wondering, it's the red die out there, Peter die. So we hit that armored car, and. Let's see what happens with that armored car. Um, it's been hit, but have we uh, penetrated its very thin armor? That uh, armored car has a value of a five. And so I gotta roll 2d6 and roll a, a six or higher. And that uh, six pounder is a plus two. So six or higher. Well, there's a seven, plus two, nine. So the armored car is, is smoked. We'll see what happens to the two-man crew. Now uh, they're they're both dead, and let's find out which direction it goes. Um, I roll the die for odds, so it's going to go to the left side, and let's roll some uh, movement. And it's going to go uh, nine inches, creaming along, and I'll pause the camera for that. All right, so our our armored car moved up. It got smoked. I've got two more activations left. We are going to uh, fire another Piat round at close range at that half track. That's sitting right there. We're going to hit that half track and our Piat sitting in the window. Real easy shot, but I rolled a two, which is a miss. Um, very depressing. And the other will be... Uh, we're going to fire at the squad of Germans coming with the uh, the Bren gun. And I'm just rolling dice right here. There are three hits and they're saving throws. So, um, find out who took a hit. And we're going to pause the camera here. The third figure took two hits. The second one took a hit. The first figure was missed. I roll to see which figures actually took the bullets. Some took, one took two. All right, well, that's that's it for the British activations. I'm not going to move anything this turn for the Germans or this activation. I'm rolling my dice. I got six activations. So we're rolling 
the uh, the machine guns on the half track. I got two of them with a crew, and they're belt fed. So I get to roll four dice with the forward one. I'm gonna fire right at this uh, building that's got the Piat and the Bren gun. Oops, sorry about moving the camera. I hit it. So I'm rolling my dice, and uh, I have the Germans as average. So they got uh, three hits there out of four dice, and another burst, two more, and another burst from the rear machine gun with only uh, with no loader. So I got a total of six hits. Um, so on those six hits, three through sixes are saves. And even though we t they uh, they lost two figures in there, I'm gonna roll randomly um, of our paratroopers. And unfortunately, our Bren gun and our Piat are both gone. So even with the heavy cover, the Piat got uh, knocked out, and so did my uh, Bren gunner. The German in the back, the German half track, further back, that's uh, getting ready to fire. And it scores, this scores four hits on the rifleman up there. And the rifleman's taken two of the four. He's, he's dead also. All right, well, uh, our building took some hits. I'm going to uh, continue on with this game. Um, this is a, just a snippet of it. I'm going to be playing it throughout the next week or three or four days. Donald Featherstone, Beer and Pretzel Rules. Um, it is what it is. I think my little town came out okay. There's some 30-odd figures. Not all of them are in the buildings. I have them standing on the side. So that was a snippet. I hope you enjoyed this Arnhem video. I probably will do a conclusion one later in the week, uh, Saturday night or something, when I finish playing um, We will have Germans coming through this whole region also, and the flanks. I have a little chart I made up randomly, so they're going to get pressure from all directions. Well, that's about it. I think uh, this video has gone long enough for now. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous. Jack Brendel, I hope you're enjoying the Arnhem battle in 54 millimeter. And John and everyone at the Broome County Sheriff's Department, thank you for leaving the comments and uh, the thumbs ups at times. Thank you. Stay safe, be kind, be courteous once again. Kindness is free.